Next, let's look into the introduction of NFV architecture. The NFV architecture include the network function virtualization infrastructure or what we call NFVI. Then we also have a virtualized network function VNF and management and orchestration we just call it as MANO. In addition, the NFV architecture need to support the existing business support system or BSS and operation support system or OSS. So if you are in telco, most likely you understand this concept. So right at the bottom, we have our NFVI that provide all your resources. Then we have our NVNF, which is the virtualized network function that use the cloud resources to construct the software network element. And on top, these are the application, the OSS slash BSS is an assisting operation that can support operation and management system. So all these are used by by this manual, which is the management and orchestration, provide functions such as the service orchestration, service management, and resource management. So this is a general overview of how the NFV architecture work. So next we look into the standard of uh, NFV architecture. ETSI defined the standard NFV architecture, which consists of NFVI, VNF, and MANU. The NFVI include the universal hardware layer, which is your physical hardware, and the virtualized layer. The VNF is implemented using software, and the MANU implement management and orchestration on NFV architecture. So here we have the diagram. Right at the bottom, we have the hardware. Okay, so you can see that we have the CPU, we have the hard disk, we have the network. On top of it, we have the virtual computing, virtual storage, and virtual network. This become a pool to present to the application. And this application will run on the virtual network function one, two, three. And on top, we have the uh, OSS and BSS. And all these three levels are being managed by uh, Manu. So in the Manu, we have the virtualized uh, infrastructure manager. We have a VNF manager. And we also have the VNF orchestrator. So these are the general architecture on how NFV uh, work. So let's look into the function module of uh, NFV. What are the main function that's defined in the uh, standard? So on the very top, we have the OSS and BSS. So here, this part is a management system for service provider. It is not a functional component in NFV, but the manual must provide an interface. Uh, remember, if let's say you are being charged for amount of a bandwidth you are using on your handphone or the call that you are make, all these are being done by OSS and BSS. And remember that you have a lot of packages that you can subscribe, prepaid or postpaid. That is also the function of OSS and BSS. Then we have the manual. Okay, that is the part of uh, uh, orchestration part, the management and the orchestration. So NFV management and orchestration, the menu include the VIM, VNFM, and VFVO. Then we have the VNF, and finally the physical layer, which is the NFVI. So just an overview to give you on the uh, architecture, on their functional. So if you are interested, you can get more detail uh, by reading additional materials. So some of the NFV architecture, uh, remember that these are all the uh, interfaces that I mentioned early on. So the main interface of the standard NFV architecture. So we do not need to remember all this by heart because uh, we are looking into the general overview. But if you're really interested on how to configure an NFV, well, you do need to know what is all these interfaces are for. So what is the Huawei NFV solution? Okay, so let's look into the Huawei solution. In the Huawei NFV architecture, function of the virtualized layer and uh, VIM are implemented by Huawei Cloud Stack NFVI platform. Huawei Cloud Stack can virtualize compute, the storage and the network resources and centralize, manage, monitor and optimize physical virtualization resources. Huawei provide cloud-based solution for carrier, wireless network, barrier network, transport network, access network and core network, which basically uh, referring to your carrier, which is your mobile phone, your barrier network, which is your voice phone, your transport network, which carry your signal over the transmission, access network, which is your broadband, and the core network. So all these are being offered by Huawei. So these are very carrier-centric solution. So as you can see from here, these are the solution they have on the physical layer, computing, storage, and network. On the Huawei Cloud Stack, this is the one that 
we should look for the fusion compute, fusion storage, fusion network, and uh, OpenStack. And uh, menu, we have uh, NFVO and VNFM. So on top of that, we have the virtual network function that include CloudDB, CloudDSL slash OLT, CloudH, Cloud Core, and 5G Core. You can see that all these has been virtualized. So in the traditional way, all these are boxes, are customized hardware with software installed. So here we can actually run on the software running on the general computing hardware. All right, so let's look into the FAQ. What is the relationship between SDN and NFV in the industry? So the answer is both software defined network and network function virtualization involve network transformation and the NFV concept was proposed at the SDN and OpenFlow World Congress. However, they are independent of each other. SDN mainly affect the network architecture and NFV mainly affect the uh, network element deployment mode. So they do have some similarity because these are all using uh, the OpenFlow or the World Congress that is actually proposing it, but they are addressing different needs. So question number two, what is the relationship between SDN and NFV in Huawei solution? Huawei provide different solution for SDN and NFV, but they are associated. Huawei NFVI solution is provided by Huawei Cloud Stacks. Okay, so in this topic, we look into the transformation and development of the network industry, specifically on SDN and NFV are the proposed solution. SDN is an innovation of a network architecture. It's used controller to make network more open, flexible, and simple. Remember the iMaster NCE, right? Then we have the NFV, Network Function Virtualization. It's an innovation in the development of telecom network devices based on virtualization and cloud computing. NFV help reconstruct the telecom network. So I hope you enjoyed this session. This is a very high level talking about SDN and NFV. So I hope that I give you some insight of these two technology and I hope to see you on the next module. Thank you. Goodbye.